Greetings. Today I want to remind you of the power of choice. Whatever we believe, whatever we perceive, it boils down to our choice to acknowledge it or to discard it. It doesn't matter what aspect of life you look at. It's a choice. There are many different routes, paths that we can take. There is no right path. It's simply your path. It's how you maneuver. It's how you choose to live. And there's not really a blueprint for that. There are tools that can help one along the way. But even when it comes to the tools, we choose what tools are deemed helpful or not. Now, at times we can be confused. At times we can allow ourselves to be misled when we give away that authority instead of taking our own path. That's okay. It's not about perfection. Sometimes the only perfection is the execution. The expression of your choice. Of your core belief. Of any belief. That you choose worthy to experience. We don't have to chase labels. But if that's what you choose, by all means do it. We don't have to chase popularity, but if that's what you choose, by all means, do it. I just want to remind you of the power that you have. Choose your life. Don't get caught up in what the world's saying. No matter what aspect we look at in life, if we look at the history of the stories that have been left behind, The majority has never been correct. So live your life for you. Choose the life that you desire to have. Express your life from that modality, from that place of being, that place that gives you peace. Because only in doing so can you understand more about yourself, your journey. And the creation of the reality that you have chosen for self. I'm not here to preach to anybody. I'm here to remind you just as I have to remind myself that you have so much power to untap. It's not about exhausting yourself. It's not about proving yourself. It's about being yourself. Trusting in who you are. Connecting with that divine spark that's within you. However that resonates with you. It's alright. Live that. Embrace that. And for those who do not see or understand what you're doing, why you do it, it's fine. You're doing things to simply express, not to be understood. But for those who do get something... Out of the way that you live, the way that you express, what you choose to show. That's a beautiful byproduct. Outside of that, remember who you truly are. Doesn't matter how you choose to go about your life. Don't get lost in what everyone else is expressing. Because they too have their own laundry list of choices. And they're expressing their belief. Their ideas. It's not about right or wrong. It's not about judgment. The more that we can pull back judgment from anybody outside of us or anything outside of us. The easier it is to not have judgment on ourselves. Sometimes, even in difficult situations, the best thing we can do is find peace within it. Find peace in the eye of the storm. Understand why others may look at you and judge you. 
maybe, just maybe, if you didn't judge yourself, it wouldn't bother you. Might not even register. Now, I too have to remind myself of these things. I had a situation more recently where for a moment I judged myself. And in judging myself, I saw others reflect that back to me. It wasn't until I snapped out of that and gave myself a moment of grace to understand, no, I know how these things play out. I'm going to live in that state. I'm going to live in the end of that state. I'm going to be at peace because I know this too shall pass. And when I found that peace within myself, the waters around me became still. Those around me who had me in the eyes of judgment changed. Find peace within yourself. Whatever that looks like. If it's a distraction, go get distracted. If it's uh, disconnecting from whatever environment that you find comfort in, sometimes you got to disconnect. That's okay. Move how you move. But do it knowing, knowing that you're making a choice for betterment of self, for peace of mind, for clarity of thought, clarity of expression. But don't get caught, don't get caught up in these things outside of you. Easier said than done. I know. I get it. But trust in who you are. Trust in the power that you truly have, because only in doing so can you see that power not only grow. I won't even say grow. It's always there. You see your ability to trust in yourself grow. And in doing so, you open up more opportunities for yourself to express the life that you truly see for yourself. Some things there's not a label for. Some positions there's not a title for. Some ways of living there's no title for. You simply are that. So when you're speaking to yourself and you're saying that your, your I am statements or whatever, whatever you use, whatever modality you use to affirm who you believe yourself to be. Simply be that. When I want to be judged, I put myself in a place of and I ain't judged. And then I wasn't judged. I was embraced. It's something to think about. Until next time, be blessed.